Good morning. I'm going to talk briefly about importing items into order time. Basically, the items can be imported through a CSV file. So I have a test file here called test item import. And you could see here that there are several columns here, A through S, and each column corresponds to a field related to the inventory item. These fields are all defined in order time, and in this case, I've set up an item that's actually already in uh, order time, and so if I run an import with this, it'll be updated. So I'll give you an example here that'll update one and add another. So we'll call this one, one um, four, five, six straw. Okay, and then we'll call this uh, S four, five, six. This will become the uh, item number or name as they call it here. Uh, we'll talk about groups uh, briefly, but this is in the parts group. Okay, its unit of measure is each. Order time can handle several units of measure. Let's just say the price of this is uh, 76 and the weight is 0.9. Uh, I'll leave the volume alone. You can have different uh, bins locations, but for now I just use default. Order time can track lots. In this case, I am not going to track a lot. Warranty. You could see the uh, numerous fields that we'll explain later. In this case, we'll say the cost is 15. Uh, we have a reorder analysis, so we'll just pop some reorder points in here. Reorder amount 5, max quantity 25. Uh, manufacturer, again, we'll just say Acme, and I'm going to show you uh, an error because I don't have Acme set up as my manufacturer, but in this case, it is not a critical error. Uh, we'll say the manufacturer part is 456S, uh, and then finally a UPC 345-9. Okay, so I'm going to save this, which is already formatted as a CSV file, and I'll minimize it. And I'm going to show you here, I already have an item set up with uh, 123 widget. So you're going to see an update, and then you're going to see it will add the uh, B456. So I go up here, this area here, if I ever refer to, go to the admin, it's right here, this widget. And then you got all kinds of uh, goodies here, but for now I'm going to use import. Okay, these are all import jobs that I've done, and you can see that uh, uh, I didn't too well, do too well in the beginning. I got a lot of errors, but... I sort of got the hang of it as I move forward. So I'm going to do a new import job. Brings you to this screen where I said, well, what type? And you can import customers. And you can import almost anything. In this case, I'm just going to import a part item. Okay, I'll talk about this later, but I've created a mapping, and I'm going to choose my file, test import. I'm going to upload it, and here it's going to map uh, the fields in my CSV file to all the fields in order time. So these are the columns in my CSV file. These are the uh, corresponding uh, data points. And then I'll start my import. Okay, it starts this new job. It's fun. Okay, and as I predicted, it inserted one, it updated one, and I do have two errors, but I know that it worked because I got inserts and updates versus, in this case, uh, nothing happened because when I click on the error, you can see here it's a critical error, which means that nothing is happening. However, when I go look at this error, these two errors, you can see in both cases these uh this field wasn't in the manufacturer's list, but it's only a warning. 
it still will let me move by. And then let's go ahead and look now. If I go open my full list of my items, okay, now, and I could go up here and say B, four, five. Oops, hold on just a second. Let me just uh, go through here. I know it's at B, four, five, six. Okay, so not there. Uh, let's take another quick look at what I called it. Oops, sorry. Uh, this is my test item import. Oh, I'm sorry. I called it S456. Okay, it's early in the morning, so uh, I'll go here. S456. There it is. See, whenever I start typing a bit of it here, it brings me a pull down. I go to the pull down and uh, voila, you can see it's a 456 straw. It's a part, unit of measures each. There's the price that I put in. There's the cost. Nothing. We haven't put any inventory in. We'll talk about that later. And then if I edit the item, you'll see the rest of the information here. That's the description. That's the price, the weight that I put in my sheet, under purchasing, my cost. Which these All of these things were in my import sheet uh, that came in. So that wraps it up for importing an item.